let's continue our discussion about providing written feedback and some of its principles so there are some questions which i would like to raise through this um, module and which you can keep in mind while providing feedback or assessing students writing so the first important question is at what stage in the writing process should the teacher intervene whether at the paragraph level or at the early stage level or in the second draft or in the final draft and there is no uh, right or wrong answer i mean it depends it depends upon the context or educational sensitivities of the learners it depends the teacher must keep in view the differences between appropriation of the text and intervention appropriation and intervention are different notions appropriation means correcting too much of the text i mean overwriting or giving too many ideas instead of leaving the decision up to the student what to do about the content on the main argument even the teacher in appropriation the teacher drives the argument an intervention is on the other hand is a different thing it's the teacher who just intervenes suggests signals demonstrates and let the student take charge of their own writing thirdly should feedback related to the content and organization be given separately i mean it depends it depends upon the individual learners some student want the combination of both some student want the content feedback separately and language feedback separately so it depends so we will have to tailor our strategies according to the uh, post method era strategy which is like no method is good or bad it's the learner it's their varied contexts which matter another question to be kept in mind is to what extent is written or oral feedback more effective in a given context some context might demand oral feedback and some students might demand written feedback and some might demand combination of both so this is kind of hidden syllabus called hidden curriculum which is decided on daily basis and negotiated between the teacher and the student how should teachers identify select and prioritize feedback points for commentary and how should the teacher can make a balance between praise and criticism which aspects to be praised and which aspects to be criticized criticized in a way which is constructive which is encouraging and which is motivating another question is when uh, feedback is given through word process i mean microsoft word so we'll have to ask ourselves whether the comments given in the margins track changes as we discussed before more helpful than end comments are both necessary sometimes just the marginal comments might work sometimes the combination of both sometimes the end comments it depends so what problem students experience experience in understanding feedback and how should teachers make efforts to mitigate these problems so we'll have to take into account the student agency their values their attitudes their experiences their perceptions while giving feedback so feedback is an ongoing dialogue which is which means that it's not about like giving the feedback and forgetting rather the feedback which invites students for further negotiation for further discuss discussion for further dialogue 